Lexus Dirty Maintenance Show. Sweet power slide. <laughs>Hey guys, Lex here with another Dirty Maintenance episode. And uh, they're saying that the ceiling fan, the lights go dim and they're flickering. So let's check it out. Oh, of course they don't do it when the Dirty Maintenance Man shows up. Ain't that the way it is, maintenance guys? Let's see when, this, when you flick it on, let's see if it does it. Nope. But I know what it is. It's the limiter inside the gearbox. So we're gonna take it out and I'll show you how to do that. All right, the first thing you gotta do is remove the pull chains so you, you can get your globe down. This is a, a Kitchler brand ceiling fan, K-I-C-H-L-E-R, Kitchler. <clears throat> and this just unscrews. <clears throat> and the globe will come down. Just unscrew the uh, little bullet shaped nut there. And this is your gearbox. Yeah, there it is, Kitchler. And to get the gearbox down, you just loosen that screw, that screw, and that screw. You don't have to take them all the way out, you just back them out just a skeeter leg and Turn, turn it to the left and it'll come down for you. I like to take the light bulbs out too, it's easier to work on. Try to do this with one hand. Ah, there we go. And that's the inside of your gearbox there. It just unplugs. Let's see if I can unplug it with one hand. If not, I'll have to put the camera down. There we go. Just unplugs right out of there. Now the first thing I like to do is clip these little zip ties, get them out of the way, so you can see what you're working, see what you're working with here. And there's another one here. Try not to snip any wires, obviously. There we go. Now you can see what you're working with. I know it's a lot of wires and it's intimidating, but just stay calm. You only have to worry about two, two wires. This is your, this is your fan gearbox. This is uh, your low, medium, and high when you pull the chain. You don't have to mess with that, don't worry about that. This is what we're dealing with here. This is the limiter. For some reason they put these in these ceiling fans thinking that people were going to put high voltage bulbs in I guess. Like you know if the fans rated for 40 watts somebody would put some crazy wattage higher than 40 in there and this would control it but all they're doing on my property is crapping their pants and creating work for me. So I just get rid of them. This is the limiter. This is what we're getting rid of. This is what makes the lights flicker and just causes a lot of problems for us maintenance guys. The new style Kitchler didn't have, doesn't have one of these. I split a new style open the other day and it didn't have it. And they're just crapping their pants all over my property and it's, it's just so annoying. But this is what we're getting rid of here, the limiter. I guess they heat up, they get hot and then the lights start flickering and, <clears throat> and then the resident calls us. So let's get rid of it. Now the only two wires that we're worried about here that we're gonna have to connect to get rid of the limiter so that the light still works is this black wire coming out of that sleeve there. That's coming up from the lights. The black wire here and the blue wire right there coming out of our plug-in harness there. We're going to connect this black to that blue 
and get rid of this. All right, now, now that I, I've got the two wires together that I wanna wire nut together, see the blue coming out of your plug-in harness here? And there's the black coming out of the, the middle white sleeve for the light kit. Just clip black, and clip blue. There we go. There's that. Then you can clip white. Just wire nut that off. There you go. No more pain in the butt limiter. All right, this is the 18 gauge wire here. So you're just gonna use the the 18 there on your strippers and strip it back. There we go. And do the same with black, 18. Get you a little wire nut, a little tiny wire nut. Twist them together. And she's good to go. Get another wire nut and I like to cap this white wire off with one. And that's it. No more pain in the booty uh, limiter. Creating work orders for me. I'll go through some of the stuff in here. This is your fan reverse button. Makes it go clockwise or counterclockwise. That's your fan gearbox, your high, medium, and low speed, and there's your there's your pull chain switch. Pretty simple, nothing to it. I like to throw some new light bulbs in for them. These are the small base bulbs. Now they put a limiter on a ceiling fan that takes 40 watt small base bulbs. I mean, to get a resident to change their own light bulb is is impossible and so I mean to think they're gonna put some crazy wattage bulb in there to cause damage to cause damage is uh, likely not going to happen so yeah small base 40 watt bulbs I'll throw them in for the resident I'll give you another good look at the finished product black to blue cap off the white Plug it back in. There's only one way to do it. If there's any resistance, you're doing it the, the wrong way and it, it should just slide right in, no problem. Put this back into the screws here. Twist it. it can be a little tricky sometimes. There we go. Tighten back down. Put in some new light bulbs and then try it out. Oh, yeah. No more limiter, no more problems. Now, if, if your fan doesn't have the limiter, I would start to see if there's any loose wires up here. Check and see if there's loose wires. Or you could start with your switch. Make sure there's no loose wires there or the switch is going bad. And if that isn't, if that isn't it, you're gonna have to dig deeper. But 
Nine times out of ten, it's going to be your limiter or a loose wire with a ceiling fan. I like to make sure the fan works too. Just make sure, we, just to be sure we don't have any crazy back current issues. No, we're good. I think we're good, Skid Bro. Thank y'all for watching the Dirty Maintenance Show. <laughs>